位嘉宾好像住在一个蛮豪华的公寓。嗨，大家好，你们都过得好吗？在没有更新的这段时间呢，纽约已经从夏天变成冬天了。那我知道，可能这段时间有些人会好奇，说妹都在干嘛？好久没有更新 YouTube。那嗯，主要是因为个人的因素啦，因为我前阵子真的压力蛮大的，主要是在忙搬家，还有。开学的事情，没错，我已经从之前 room tour 的那个 apartment 搬出来了，因为房租真的涨太凶。其他的原因，我觉得跟很多 YouTuber 停更的因素还蛮像，像是演算法在变啊，然后现在大家习惯看短影音跟 YouTube 的时间制作成本比较高。对，那我觉得我现在已经算是给自己一个喘息的空间，因为毕竟我觉得当创作者其实是一个。不断的在输出能量的过程，你要一直去想说有什么内容是可以吸引大众的、啊。你常常是站在大众的角度去创作内容，而不是做让自己开心的事情。对，不要误会，其实我是非常享受当 YouTuber 的。只是我觉得这一段时间，我觉得我个人的成长在停滞中，即便我的粉丝跟订阅数有在成长，对，可是我觉得我自己没有很努力的在投资我自己。所以我内心就觉得不是很快乐，因此呢，我来纽约再多追求一个学位，以及我最近呢，其实自学两个月，成功的拿到 n a s o n 的英文证照，我觉得对我来说都是一个沉淀一下自己，然后关掉外界的杂音，再去思考一下我到底真正喜欢什么的一个很重要的旅程。总之呢，我现在又决定要重拾我的相机。再跟大家持续的记录我的健身旅程，还有在纽约的生活。那今天的影片呢，会有一位非常特别的嘉宾，他是一个我自己个人很喜欢的，在纽约非常有名的 YouTuber， 所以待会你们就会见到他啦。这位嘉宾好像住在一个蛮豪华的公寓。I can't believe now I'm at Andrew's place. So Andrew is from Fun Bros. Oh, let me do the Chinese intro. Okay. 大家好，我是冯弟雄，呃、uh, ，from 冯志雄。冯冯文，冯弟雄。冯弟雄。冯弟雄 ，that's her Mandarin name. Yeah. Okay. From 冯氏兄弟。And just want to shout out to all of May's fans. And if maybe you have seen one of our videos in the past, thank you. And、I think you guys have surprising fame in Taiwan. A lot of people have loved the video that you did with Jeremy Lin. Yes, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Jeremy. Still playing in Taiwan right now. Yeah, so yeah. I'm very、uh, happy for him. And、uh, yeah, if you're a fan of Fun Bros for any amount of time, let me know in the comments down below. Great. So today、um, we are doing a gym session. Yeah. With Andrew, and、yeah. Andrew is going to show me your favorite New York pizza place, right? Yeah. So we're gonna do a gym session and then just pack it with carbs and cheese afterwards. Sounds amazing.、Yeah. That's what I need right now. Yeah, and there's, there's a balance in life, everybody. Like you can work out and not eat that much, and then eat what you want. That's the key. Don't eat breakfast, then you work out, and then you eat what you want. <laughs> the truth is, I don't really eat breakfast. Okay. I'll probably do coffee. Maybe some protein powder,、um, yeah. And I just won't eat for at least twelve, thirteen hours.、Mm -hmm. I think that's the key. It's like a I do like a soft fast. It's not really like a hard fast where I'm like, oh, sixteen hour fast has to be. I'm just like, at least twelve hours. Yeah. 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 So, and then you know, diet soda. I know there's aspartame in it or aspartame, but I just I like diet soda. What's this? this roasted a, potato. Yeah, roasted sweet potato、um, in the air fryer with a little bit of oil. Oh my gosh, this looks bad. <laughs> so the spoon I'm using, I was using this spoon. Here we go. That's very presentable. Yeah, it's a.、Uh, <laughs> this is a、uh, complex carb, so it's a good carb for you. Yeah.、Mm. All right, this is my fridge, guys.、Um, 
It's not super Asian. I have more Asian flavors on my spice rack, but right now I have salsa, a lot of eggs. I eat a lot of eggs. I eat a lot of eggs too. How many eggs do you eat? A day? I can easily eat, I don't know, I'll probably eat like three or four. Me, four or five. Oh, 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 oh you beat me. You eat a lot of eggs. Uh, yogurt, we have some cottage cheese. I mix that in with the Oh, egg. I love cottage cheese. Cold brew, Cold of brew. course, low calorie. Uh, seltzer, uh, but I of course have some sauces here for like the food, um, and then obviously I have my smala chili oil, mm. which is an oil, so it's not like you know it's just used to top the food off and used as a finishing oil, but it's yeah. very delicious. And then diet soda, of course, and you gotta have the bread filter. Uh, and this, this is, is a brand. Energy <laughs> yeah, drink. Yeah, yeah. Energy alcohol. drink or alcohol. No, it's both. Oh, both. Okay, yeah. got it. You gotta have some drinks for enjoyment. But I also eat like frozen steaks a lot, so I marinate it and then I freeze it and then I put it in the air fryer. It's very uh, simple. But yeah. Is that your ice cubes? Why your ice cubes look a little bit strange? Why? <laughs> what do you what do you mean? <laughs> Alright, this is the other side. I have Asha dry noodles. Shout out to Asha. They're like the best noodle brand, you know? And I try not to eat too many carbs right now, but I, I think it's from Taiwan. It is from Taiwan. Asha is from Taiwan and uh, it's so good. And they don't fry the noodles or anything like that. So it's a little bit healthier. And, uh, but yeah, this is where I have all the, you know, the Chinese ingredients. Ma jiang yo, right? Ma jiang, ma yo. Ma yo. Zi ma yo. Zi ma yo. Green scallion yeah. powder. But I also These have some- This can prove that you're a true Asian. Yes. Because I have tons of different noodles too. Definitely. This way is the gym. Check out the gym. The left side here, we got the weights. Wow. Okay. We can go over here. We can take a little walk down this hallway, and then here, like the cardio room is here. But they also have like medicine balls. You have a little bit of towels here. You got state of the art treadmills. You kind of have this uh, massage bench right here, a stretching table. And yeah, this is where if you want to slam the ball, slam the ball. But over here you got kettlebells, and then you have, you know, your universals and stuff like that. All right, so I just try to have a routine with working out. I think the most important thing is that you enjoy the workout that you're doing and that you do it consistently no matter how much weight you're doing you know you could start off doing 25 push-ups a day move up slowly do 30 push-ups a day then you get to 50 push-ups a day and you will see a difference but you have to do it consistently so one thing that I found that I enjoy to do consistently is usually in the morning I will wake up and do pull-ups pull let's do a competition <laughs> oh you want to compete in pull-ups all right all right well I do I don't do 30 at one time, but I do usually two sets of 15 or one set of 15 to start and I break it up. Oh, just stretch a little bit. It's nice. Six. I like pull-ups because you're moving. Calisthenics so, so is fun. So I just did 15. So I'm gonna do at least 30 before we do any workout. And that's just obviously it works sure. How many pull-ups do you think I can do? At one time? You're max out, like right now? Let me see your lats. Um, I mean, even if you could do eight or nine in a row, it's pretty good. <clears throat> no gloves. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. Seven. Feel free to kick up at the end. Do it if you need to. Alright. Oh, ah, you gotta get your chin over. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. I think you did 10. I think I did 10. Yeah. yeah. You did like 10.2. Or I think you did 9.8. 9 you did like 9.75. 
And uh, so another form of pull-ups I do is, because I want to make it fun and active, I like to do the kind of like jump pull-ups where I'll change forms in the air. And it just makes it kind of like a challenge. So it's like, And that just makes it fun. It's just like you're the explosiveness. It's like a frog. <laughs> I have I have another thing to show you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I forgot the name of that. What is that called? What are those called? Do you know? I don't know. Sliders or something? Uh, I don't sliders. know. Sliders. So the next thing is, is like shoulders and uh, these are just things that I'll make sure I hit throughout the day. Yeah, shoulders is important also like if you want to look good as a guy, you got to get the shoulders, right? Yeah, I, I want a shoulder guy. Okay. <laughs> Be a Chinese name for shoulder guy? What is that? Let's make a, what, what's a Chinese name? Yo Jian Bang. Yo Jian Bang. Yo Jian Bang. Okay. I'll do this, I right, come in, get a little motion in. As you can see, like I like motion, I like movement. I don't wanna be rigid because I'm not like a bodybuilder, so I'm not like focusing only on one side of a muscle. It's just I wanna do a little bit of everything. I think this is called Arnold Press, with some rotation. Okay, I don't know the names, I just know it works. Okay, so for like a woman, like how big do you want your shoulders to be? <laughs> I think women often have some misconception about building upper body strength. Right, because like, they think they're gonna look like a woman. Yeah, for me, I already work so hard for building my upper body strength and I don't look that big. I do shoulder press like one or two times a week. Do you think I have a good shoulder? Or do you think guys would be intimidated by my shoulder? <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's good, it's fit. Okay. Okay. So. What's the 25? Wow. It's a good amount of weight. I got it. And then. Most of the times I like to do something. Giant set. What is that? Like, what is that? <laughs> like for example, like I pair with like three, four. Oh. So now I'm doing an alternating front race. Try not to try not to swing my body. Right. You and you don't want to do too much. You don't want to do too much weight, right? Because you can kind of mess up your shoulder. This weight is okay. I might use like the lightest weight to do. Okay. Wow. Your shoulders are pretty strong. To just do that, that that's pretty strong. Damn. All right, so my friend taught me to not do it too high. That's how you hurt your shoulders, keep it low. And you just, yeah. Yeah, below, you're, you don't want it too high on your chest. So I'm gonna just warm up. And I like incline because of shape that, I'm not gonna lie, somebody who's like a, uh, another fitness influencer told me and was like, oh, if you just want your chest to be good shape, then just focus on incline because it works this upper part and then it'll grow and then you'll see the little, the little sag, yeah. <laughs> no, just work out every part of your chest that you want. But I'm just saying, I guess this targets an area that <laughs> maximizes the look. All right, maze turn. May's actually pretty strong. The fact that she's already warming up with 30s. I mean, 35 was like kind of a warm up for me, but she's she's going for 30. 30 is my formal set. I don't really go. Oh, okay. 
what type of workouts are the most attractive to see a guy do at the gym? Uh, I would say that lift. That? <laughs> I, I like to check out men's ass <laughs> when they're doing that lift. <laughs> All right, so another full body workout that I think is really good for basketball players because I'm into basketball. Shout out to Jeremy Lin. Uh, uh, playing in Taiwan right now and then uh, we uh, this is a good basketball workout I'm just gonna basically throw the medicine ball in the air kind of like I'm doing a jump shot make sure there's nothing no light fixtures right here like this some people let the ball hit the ground but I think catching it is still a workout too This is how Steph Curry is able to shoot from 45 feet and Caitlin Clark. Ah. Hey, how many dips can you do? How many dips? We'll see. Tell me if it's good form, okay? I don't know how long it's going to be. Lower, lower. See the shaking muscles. Wow, that's a lot of Impressive, very impressive. It's good cardio. Very impressive. <laughs> Five. Hey, seven. Wow. Oh. Dude, I just broke my record. <laughs> See what some inspiration and encouragement can do? Some people just need to know that it can be done. Uh, that was a pretty fun workout with Andrew. Thanks for walking me through your um, general routine and, and make it fun and uh, obviously when you work out you build up an appetite yeah but uh, this is not always the food you should eat after gym right you should eat maybe more protein yeah. but since we're in New York we're making an exception okay because a lot of people they work out very hard right they burn all these calories yeah. and then they, and then they yourself. get so hungry and then they pig out afterwards and they eat like uh, so is it us Hong right Ro, they eat like is it us right now we just want to pick up the it's, unhealthy choice. It's just for video, okay? <laughs> don't don't always do this. But yes, reward yourself sometimes. But other than that, just eat some eggs. <laughs> so Andrew just brought me a pretty cool pizza place. I've tried different style of pizza in New York, like Prince Street pizza, Artichoke pizza, Joe's pizza. But you never tried it. No, Scar's never. Pizza. Like Scar's pizza uh, is regarded as one of the best. I would say top five in New York City. It's up there with those Prince Street, uh, Joe's, I think Upside, Linda Street. Mm -hmm. it's, it's in this realm, on this level. So we're gonna go there, check it out, and try some Smala Chili Oil. Yay! So this is the hot oil, jalapenos, beef pepperoni. I like this kind of thin sliced pizza with the crispy crust. Yeah, this is like, I would say it's pretty New York style. You I, want spicy? I think I'm debating beef pepperoni, but the hot boy looks very interesting. Hot boy pizza, and 
中国 ，Yeah， Italian inspired Chinese chili. It's a Chinese chili oil mostly, but it's Italian inspired. It goes well on everything, but it has a little bit of mala, like the the ma、uh, numbing. So, gotta shake it up. Put a little bit here. It goes great on pizza. I put a little bit on the, just the first bite here. Try it. Mmm. What makes What makes you feel like it's the best pizza in town? It's one of the best because like this special, it has like sliced garlic and onion, and it's very fragrant with I think some fennel seeds. The The crust is very fluffy but crispy on the bottom, and、uh, it's just tasty. You know, pizza is all pe personal preference. I don't think there's one singular pizza spot that is way better than everything else. It's just like there's like a top ten pizza spots, and then everything in that top ten is good. Hmm. 刚刚刚我们加了这个。Andrew Von Brace 他们推出的 Smala Chili Oil， 然后它是，我觉得它的理念很棒，因为因为很多辣椒，你要么就是只能加在中式的料理，像面食或饭，或者是你只能加在就是西式的披萨跟三明治。可是它这款辣油就是西式的料理跟中式的料理都非常适合，然后就很很谢谢 Andrew 带我来吃这个看起来超好吃的披萨。Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is how you eat pizza、yes. in the New Yorker way. Hmm. No joking. I would say this is the best pizza I've ever tried in New York. Hmm. Hmm. So, firstly, I I love the thin crust. It's super crispy, and there's hot honey and chili on top. And I think I really like the hint of the spiciness of smala sauce. It just fit perfectly. Yeah. Wow. All right, I want to thank Andrew for showing me this amazing dream session. 没关系，没关系。And yeah, and the <laughs> pizza place is super delicious. Yeah, it's good. It was a good、it. workout. You made me work out in the morning. I mean, I usually <laughs> do, but like maybe I did more dips because you challenged me. So sometimes it's good to have someone challenge you. <laughs> we, we both kind of motivate each other. So、yeah, that's what friends do. Yeah. So I noticed that you you've launched a brand of、uh, your smala sauce,、mm -hmm. and I want to know like your experience of coming from a content creator to an entrepreneur, and、yeah. how how does it feel like? Well, I think that it's like there's steps to everything. Sometimes people they're like a content creator, and then they have like a merch、mm -hmm. merchandise line、yeah. where it's just like. Kind of stuff that you buy to support them, or because you want to represent that creator or artist. But to me, what I have in Smala is like I don't really look at it as merch because I want it to stand on its own, and I want people who don't even know me to、mm -hmm. buy it. But of course, at first, I know that there's going to be some support for it, you know. But I have to make sure it's good. So、um, I guess the transition is not super hard, but I think. The, and, and I want to say this: It's not at first. It's not hard. Just to start a product is not that hard. But to maintain to that maintain hype is hard. To maintain and get it no, and and get it to a certain level where like、to、stores are picking、mm -hmm. it up. You know, distributors. These are things that you have to think about when you're trying to sell this. And you know, your fan support will be there, but it's gonna run out. It's not. They can't buy it. Every month, yeah. So you have to reach outside of your fan base, and that's what I'm doing now, you know. And I just want to thank everybody who had heard about it or bought it or tried it, you know.、Um, and now this product is on Amazon, right? It's on so Amazon. So people、now. who live in the U.S. can. Yes, people who live in the U.S. and Canada, I believe, can get it. So it's, you know, it's、uh, available and it has good ratings. Four point seven out of five. Ratings on Amazon. That's higher than a、and、lot of others. And I personally try it, and I love that because I'm a girl that's into spicy food. I approve this. Ni ni shuan shuan. Smala sauce. Yeah, I love it. Is that a pickup line? 
Pick up li line on Asian girls. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. <laughs> that can be one. Oh, like, you see how you're smiling, right? I'm telling you. Smile. Thank you. This guy cannot run. Okay, bye. Nice meeting you. See you next time.